Hi. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> We've been trying to figure out why it kept cutting us off. Uh, I'm Mary with Pink My Sisters in the Kitchen. I'm Linda and welcome. <laughs> welcome to our morning. We just had a little bit of a problem. The, I don't know what happened. It um, it kept saying that uh, it failed. The video failed and we hadn't even started the video. So anyway, it's going to be a wonderful day. No, <laughs> regardless of our little hiccups. Okay, so y'all, I had my pot hot. Now, we're doing this kind of like we did the last time. We're kind of doing it in reverse. In reverse. So, um, we um, have got a cake, the cake done. We're making coconut pound cake. And we got the cake done. We're going to make another one. But um, in my little milk pot, I've got um, just water and sugar. And I'm going to add some flavoring to it and some cream of coconut. But I'm going to let this kind of... Um, dissolve and cook just a just a short time here and then we're fixing a and show this you is, how to this do is something the cake really good that we just got out of the oven this is what we're making today the coconut pound cake but we had to make two of them so because it takes how long does it take linda hour and something an hour and 20 minutes to cook, to cook in the oven so we she went ahead and made a nut one this morning and then we're going to start in reverse and show you and then we'll show you the maze the uh how we built it, how we made it. Yeah, it takes a while to do these things, and um, we tried to time it just right, and then we were right ready to go <laughs> on, and it thing kept cutting was, off on us. I know. Oh, okay. Lord, just leave it to, just leave it to uh, whatever technology <laughs> or something, I don't know. But, okay. uh, they saw the cake, right? Maybe? Yes, I showed them the cake. Now, that's water. And sugar, right? Yep. Water and sugar. It's kind of like a sugar syrup, but yet it's a little bit thicker. It's more sugar yep. than yep. than the. Uh, a simple syrup is equal, equal parts, parts of sugar and equal parts of water. We've actually got some simple syrup made here. This is what Mike has thrown out before, and when he thought it was just <laughs> water, that's simple syrup. This is this is cooled here. Yeah. But we're using that for something else, not for this. Linda's going to help me make some cakes when we get through with the video. We're going to make some cakes for our, our Fall Fest tomorrow. I mean, so, we're going to make the case today. Our Fall Fest is Friday. We're dividing and conquering. Yes. She's going to help me out. I think she feels sorry for me. <laughs> I want all I got to do, so she's going to help me. Well, it's um, two is better than one when you're working with something and... Um, I see FedEx pulling up in the driveway. I hope that's what I think it is. Uh, I have oh, something right. so I do too. cute ordered yes. for one of our little yes. girls, and yes. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it either. Okay, so now do you boil that, Linda? No, I'm just going to get it dis dissolved. So okay. I'm, I'm going to turn the burn up just a hair. Okay. Um, I just love this little milk pot. I think that may be, Linda. You want me to get it? Yes, you may have to sign for it. Thank you, Mary. Now we got an oven on 325. This pound cake is um um it's not, it's coffee. Oh, that's coffee. <laughs> that's Mike's order. <laughs> well, well, well. I thought we had something fun to open. <laughs> Maybe it'll come later. It's a I case think. of coffee. He orders big, <laughs> big boxes of it. Oh. He'll be happy. I'm going to wash my hands. I'll pick up that package. Okay, we've almost got this. You just want to make sure that all the crystals are dissolved out of it. And the first time I did this, I was a little bit scared to pour something on a cake because this is different than yeah. normally you put simple syrup on a cake. After, After you've gotten it out of the you pan. You take it out of the pan. Right. right. But um, if you've ever eaten a pound cake, and I love pound cake. You do too, don't I you? I do Mary? too. And let me tell you something. I've had some of her coconut pound cake, and it is delicious. If you've ever eaten one that's dry, they dry yeah. out really fast. Yeah. Mike doesn't like pound cake because he feels like it's choking him when he's eating it. Because it's, because it's, <laughs> I do. But this you one have to drink here, a glass of milk oh my doing. goodness, it is really, really good. So the, this cake has to cool just a few minutes before you add the syrup? No, uh, it doesn't. We just, we just was just trying have to fill with this thing. You, okay. As soon as you get the syrup done, you pour it right on there. Okay. But, um, so whenever you get the cake out of the oven, then you, you already have your syrup made. I, hand me that little measured thing spoon there, Mary, if you will, please. Which one? Just... 
And it, one of the little ones. Okay. It don't matter if it's the teaspoon or spoon or whatever, but I'm just going to put a little bit of coconut flavoring in here. I don't want this to boil. Okay. That's coconut flavor. Yeah. Now, do you pick this with the uh, tester, no. or no, you don't? don't have to. Okay. And I'm gonna put just a uh, just a squirt of cream of coconut in it. Um, co cream of coconut normally comes in a can, but I found this at one of our local grocery stores, and it's wonderful because you don't have to open a can and then can't do anything with it, and you just keep it in the refrigerator. And uh, I like that. I've never seen it in a in a jar. I'm just gonna put a, a container in. where I can, because you can keep it in the refrigerator. That coconut, um, cream of coconut is always, like she said, you don't use but a little bit of it and then it's in a can. You got to put it in a separate okay. container. Mm -hmm. So what you want me to do, Linda? Can I help um, you? I guess you can take the spoon and see, just make sure that it, I don't even know if you'll have to use it, but I just want to make sure that it goes um, all over the cake. I'm going to put the camera a little bit closer. Now y'all are going to think this is too much. To go in here and it's not. Woo! It's gonna soak. It's, see it soaking down in there? Yeah. So you put all that yes. in this, on this cake? You put it all in there. And just and just uh, kind of spoon it around. My goodness, that is a lot, Linda. Yep. You're gonna think it's too much, but. Don't and you, and, and it'll run me. down the sides of the pan. It's gonna and go it'll still in the come cake out. too. Yeah, I know it'll go in the cake. Cause well, we're gonna find out in a few minutes. <laughs> But the other one I did didn't uh, didn't stick. Didn't stick. And you okay. did and you didn't pu uh, puncture little holes in it. Nope. In the cake. They don't. Okay. So now we're going to put this back in the oven. For this five is a non-stick, but you also see how all it. of that. So yeah, I've it. seen it. Yeah, I know. Okay. Now, all right. Can they can see that, right? Yeah. Let me. She put all that uh, syrup in the cake. The sugar syrup. It's really not sugar syrup. It's it's more sugar than it is water. It's not like she said, not simple syrup. So we're syrup. gonna set the timer for five minutes. So you bake it five minutes. Whoa! I see the minutes. <laughs> Whoa. We don't want that. No, we don't. Okay. And the cake is done. The cake is done. So you just want that to heat up in the yes. cake. All we're doing is just letting that soak into the cake. Okay. So. Um, we're going to use all this again, so I'm not going to clean any of this up. Um, I guess we're going to. Okay. We're going to mix up the yeah, other cake mix first, up the cake. and then we can get in the right. in the oven, and then and we you can have set another it. pan ready. Yes, I've okay. got another pan ready, and okay. we're going to need this over here. Okay. And um, now you're going to stand on that other side, Linda. Yes, I'm going over there. Okay. All right. So. Okay. And you so, just tell me what you want me to do. Let me get, um, oh, um, we need, um, we need our shortening measured. Mary, okay. if you'll do that for me, please. Right. I'll bring this over here. And Mary's going to show y'all how to measure shortening. I know we've done this before, but, um, she's going to show you how to measure All right. shortening. let me, uh, get this a little closer. I want to get your hot water out. I don't want you know, it, it's kind of funny, Mary, that, um, used to old recipes, when they would call for coconut, they would call for a can of Angel Flake coconut. And yes. some of you old timers are gonna know what I'm talking about. You remember how many ounces the can was, Mary? A coconut? Yes. The the uh, can. You remember eight ounces? What ounce is that? Ten ounces. Eight ounces. Was it a mama. ten ounce? No, it was seven ounces. Seven. Oh, okay. it was seven okay. ounces. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Mama and eight ounces used to to buy it. That's what they bought. Yeah. Was the can. Well, right. that you know that's been right done away with years ago. Go ahead, Mary. Show them how to do that. If you measure shortening and you want a uh, cup and a half of shortening, you get a bigger shortening uh, uh, measured cup and you put equal parts of water with your shortening. So, like if you wanted three cups, you get a cup and a half of water and a cup and a half of shortening. And when it goes up to the level, the three mark, then that's that's what uh, your cup and a half. So, I'm doing, uh, I've got me a... Some water here, and uh, and now I'm gonna put the shortening in here. And when that water reaches reaches that um, reaches that uh, cup two, 
two cups, it'll, I'll have it ready. It'll be enough, it'll be the amount of shortening that I need. I believe that's it, Linda. Okay. Okay. We can clean, <laughs> we can clean that later. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. That, that that's makes so me that whenever somebody meets you in the in the, in the aisle, this way going that way, don't yeah. know which way to go. Yeah. No, we're through with the shortening, right? Yes, we're through with the shortening. Okay. So um, all right, now I need a little bowl to cut the to break the eggs in. Bowl for that, and um, so I'm gonna break the eggs, and all these eggs go in there. Yeah, I'm right, gonna pour that water off of that shortening too, because I'm gonna I'm gonna start cleaning the shortening. Oh, okay. Right now. Need it right now. Yeah. And when the buzzer goes off, we'll we'll um get that out of the oven. So after I did that, I drained the water off. Now this will be the amount of shortening. That looks like a lot that of shortening. That looks like more than a cup. It don't does. It? it looks like more than a cup. And that's two cups. Do you do you mind to just measure I that sure don't in that mind. small cup just to make sure the small cup or this or any cup you want to just to measure it. It in sure a cup, does, look, it like does more. look like more. It looks like and more. And I may be wrong. It but I put a cup, cup of water in there. I know that. And so uh, we were talking about coconut. So. Um, I like angel plate. I like Baker's angel plate coconut. I That's do too. what I like. I, I do don't too. like generic coconut. I don't either. So um, we had a really hard time finding it last year, and um, yes, and this year I don't think there's been any problem finding it. But I do not like generic coconut. So this is um, angel plate. It's dry. Baker's. It's, it's dry. dry, and it's really. If y'all can see this, I kind of warm it in the microwave just to make sure there's no chunks in it. And I weigh it to make sure that I've got the around amount, of the amount that I want. So this recipe calls for a little bit more than seven ounces. So if we were back in the old days, we would have had to have more than yeah. the can because right. it's a little bit more than right. that. But we're going to fold that in at the last. Mary, I don't know. That was pretty close. Maybe just a tiny bit more, though. Um, it was, yeah, but that would have made a difference. Yeah. But I don't know why. I, that's what I put in there was a cup. Yeah, I don't I know either, but yeah, I think that's... It's a little bit of air there. I don't want that. You want me to... Okay, let me get this. Do you want me to put down. a little bit more in there because of that air? Maybe in the, just a pinch. Because I'm shortening. Unless you pack it good, it has air in it, and that means it's not measured correctly. I can't get that air out That's there. That's fine, so. Mary. It's just, however you're doing it, it's fine. That last, last few little pieces of... Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something else, too. This is the cake. I and put, it's cooked five minutes. And um, you can tell that it's glistening with that uh, syrup on it. Doesn't that look good? Oh, it looks delicious. And a lot it. of people will tell you to let a cake set... For 30 minutes or an hour before you take it out of the oven, I do not let about it sit that long. About 10 minutes. You do I, not let it sit yeah. long. If you do, it's going to be yeah. hard to get out. Yep. Yeah. I don't I don't leave mine in there over 10 minutes. So I'm going to set the timer. You don't separate these eggs. You want the whole egg. Yeah, I want the whole egg. So I'm going to set the timer for 10 minutes because I do not want that cake sitting in that pan longer than right. that. And then we're going to. I'll put the spatula in the Thank short you. end for I appreciate you. it. So I'm going to cream the. Shortening and sugar together. And I'm going to use this um, Flex cordless mixer. Um, I don't like that um, that uh, food processor that goes with this uh, outfit. I I but I do like the mixer. Yeah. And would I have bought it just for the mixer? Probably not. But um, you don't know something until you try it. And y'all know, of course, this is Pamper Chef. And y'all know that... Mary and I both will tell you if we like something or if we don't like right. it. That processor, and that food processor, is just not what it's cracked up. I just, to uh, it's just. Uh, can I see that paper towel there for a yes, second? Yes, you should. Sure grease off yeah. my hands. Thank you. Okay, I got your eggs done. So if you have one of these and you're using it, you do have to push this on the side. Mary's told you that before, but you have to push that. Oh, I don't have my battery. Do I have my battery on it? No, I no. don't. Where's Did your you battery? Get it for yeah. <laughs> It would help. It would help. <laughs> I think I took it off to charge it. Yeah. All right. 
now let's see if we can get it going. And Mary, I need, um, if you'll measure me some sour cream. Okay. In the little, in the little measuring cup there. And I think I've got a spoon there that I've already used. Just kind of fold in. Thank you very much, Mary, for all your help. We're going to fold in this. That's what the batter looks like. Coconut. And you'll give me the pan. pan. Yeah. And we're going to get this in the oven, and we're going to get that other cake out. And this is uh, this. Of course, this is a Pamper Chef uh, buck pan, and she just she greased it with uh, Crisco.
Yeah, anytime you're adding pecans or coconut or raisins or anything like that uh, that's going in your batter, you do that last and by hand. Yes. You don't uh, always. You don't beat it well, with the mixer because that coconut's just going to stick to your mixer. And it's hard to clean those beaters. It is. <laughs> okay, I think we got it mixed up good here. If you'll help me kind of make sure that... I'll turn it around as you yeah. put it in there. Now, some of y'all would probably mirror. You probably would, too. Turn this bowl upside down and pour it in there. <laughs> I probably would, but that don't mean that. But I'm the, not. That don't mean that'd be the right way, but that's probably what I do. First of all, this bowl is slick. Well, I might not because I, my hands, I don't have the strength. Did you know my hands... I don't know if it's the weather or what, but my feet and my hands, it's arthritis has really been bothering me lately. Even my hands have hurt. I've had to get up and put lotion on at night uh, for my feet and my hands. When I use my hands a lot, they hurt yeah, really oh, bad. They hurt. When I was making all them decorations and flowers for cakes that yes, I used to do, yes. I'd wake up in the middle of the night with my hands just killing Either me. Either way, it just dawned on me. I've been making flower arrangements lately. That's what's that's, wrong with my that's hands. That's why your hands are That's hurting. what's wrong with my hands. Because exactly cutting why. those wires on those flowers and, uh, and the glue gun, squeezing that trigger, it that's that's why my hands have been hurting. I hadn't even thought about that. Yep, that's exactly it. Because it sure Mama is. always said if you do something different and right. you feel pain somewhere that right. you're not used to having, think about yep. what you've done the last yep, few that's days. That's what it was. I, was. I forgot about that. But that's Mary, exactly if you'll just kind of smooth that out for me right. with this okay. and get that off of the spatula, then I'll get this over there. Um, the cake, is it time to get to Yeah, I'm going to get that get in the out. oven and get the other one out. You know what? I might leave some of this out. Let me we'll get this, some of this again, Let me get we? this off and then I'll put it back in here. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, we're ready to go in the oven. Thank you, Mary. so much more fun cooking with somebody else. Oh, it is. Okay, so we got it all in our pan, in a buck pan. I love it. I love cooking. I love cooking over here. Okay. Being with my sister. Okay, so um, we're, we're right at nine minutes, so I'm going to clear the timer on this, and okay. I'm going to set the timer for 70 minutes. Okay. For the cake. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna see. I don't it's think not it gets sticky. I got a thing out to set this on, so I need to go in there. What are you, what are you talking about? A um, a circle? Yeah. I didn't. I, I, I got forgot to bring mine, Linda. And I got no, I've got plenty. I've got an acrylic over there, but um, I don't. No, wanna, no, I don't want to put uh, it on the acrylic no, because uh, I use it. No, that's right. We don't want. Uh. We put our cakes on on round cake circles. We'll call them cake rounds is what it's called. Um, Mary, if you will you take this and just make sure, edges. Um, especially that center there, make sure that that's kind of loose. Yeah, loose. I'm well, I'm not, it. if it's just not on top, it's all, I'm not going all the way down it. Okay. Do you go all the way down it or just yeah, around the no, edges? That's what that's why I do because usually if it's gonna stick, it's around the top. So I just go around that, make sure it's loosened. It looks like it's loosened from the edges, Linda. I'm just making sure because once you flip this over, there's no going back. If it's stuck, it's gonna come up, come up, it's gonna come apart from your cake. So we just try to make sure that the very top is loose, and then the rest of it will be loose. And this is just a little spreader, the cake uh, frosting spreader. Uh, okay, it's loose. And Linda's wanting to get a cake round to put this on. Uh, I had some, but I was gonna bring, um, I was gonna bring, uh, I tried to bring everything I needed from home, but sometimes I forget. <clears throat> because uh, Linda, actually, we're gonna give this to our uh, church for the food fest because she's got another one cooking, so this one's going to go to the church. And um, and I um, I didn't even bring my cake container. I could have put it on. But 
it certainly does look good. Okay. Linda, I'll, I'll loosen the edges. It's okay. fine. Okay. So do you want this to put it on to set it up there, or do you we want... We can. It doesn't matter. Um, um, I guess it, is that big enough? Yeah, it's big enough. Okay. I got you a free box to put it oh, in. Oh, well, thank you. Okay. Okay, now do you want to dump this? I'm going to let her dump it since it's her cake. Okay. I'll tell you how way. I do. Let me wash my hands. And um, I'm going to put that on top. You put this on there, don't yeah, you? Yeah, and turn it over. And there's two sides of this, so... Yeah, make sure it's on the right yeah, one. Yeah, it's on. This would be the right side, and I flip it over. I'll get out of your way and let you do it. And now we'll find if, out. If you're using a plate, just put your plate on top of it. I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that pan's hot, Mary. Beautiful. Ta -da! Beautiful, beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that beautiful? And see, no flour needed, Mary. Yeah, yeah I know. See, I, I'm not used to not putting See how flour. nice this pan is, how clean it is? Yeah. I want to show y'all. It's, it's beautiful. All I use is Crisco, and I've done this for years. That's all I use is Crisco, and see how clean that came out. Whoever buys this cake is going to be wanting I'm going to put your initials on it. Oh. I am, too. I told you you didn't have to. No, well, I am. <laughs> so we're going to let this cool completely. But we've got, um, we got this real pretty box to put it in. On our, at our fall fest, we always put the initials of who baked it because next year they request that same person. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Beautiful box. I don't have too many. My cake I, what boxes. I use is the clear containers for my cakes. Uh, um, you have to, it almost takes two people to do this I when know. you set it in right. there. Or well, you're not ready to put it No, in we're not yeah. going to set it in there. We've we're got Put it back in the utility room and let it cool completely, right. and then we're going. Then we'll put it in there. But it makes a beautiful presentation. Yes. yes, it does. And you can put on here what it is. Yeah, I will. What the on there? Absolutely. Is. Did you know these rounds come with those boxes? No, they do. These are nicer than the cardboard yeah, ones. Yeah, I know. I know. Notice they oh, are. I do. Yeah, yeah. But there's I, different kinds. There's kind that's got the gloss on it, and that keeps it from sticking the cake sticking to the rounds. So if you ever buy the rounds, <clears throat> make sure that they've got that gloss on it, because that gloss, the paper right. ones, that that cake, it's gonna soak in. Soak and I'll tell you what'll happen. It'll make a rim yes. of uh, grease or oil around your cardboard. Yeah. This is my acrylic one. This is what I turn my cakes on over to cool. Right. right. And put a like a piece of parchment or something right. on it. So. I don't have one of those. She, she's the one that used to bake for the public, and she had all the stuff. I don't have a lot of things that she has. So we're going to put this in there. Now, you can tell that this is going to be a very oh, moist, moist cake. Very moist Needs cake. no glaze, nothing. no icing, nothing. Right. Just like this. It's delicious. So we're going to put this, and this is my Tico turntable that I've decorated so many cakes on that my I sweet know. sister <laughs> bought me before I ever Long even started ago. the bakery. Right, right. So, well, it's hard to find something for her for Christmas. I bought it for you for Christmas one year. Yeah, but it's hard to find something for Linda because um, she's just got everything. So it's just hard to buy her Christmas presents. And well, I told her not to buy me nothing this year. I don't know if she, I got everything, but I got everything I want and yeah. everything I need. Yeah. Well, um, uh, so um, you want to show them the box of goodies? Yes, let's do that. Let's do that. And it's going to be a while for our cake gets done. So, and we have some other things that we're going to be doing in a little bit off camera. So we're not putting a lot of this stuff up. And um, but we're going to we show y'all. We wiped the table off good, didn't we? Let, uh, let me make sure. Wipe it off one, one more time, one. Linda, because we just got through food okay. with that cake, and it. I don't want it to get on our pretty things here. Uh, Miss uh, uh, Barb Cassidy sent us a box. Of things, uh, all kinds for, of goodies. Yeah, I mean, for me and uh, Linda, she put one of each. It's really nice, and even sent uh, your newest little great grandbaby. And sent some. my little baby Kinley something. I just got to show you. It's so cute. I'll show you what she gave little Kinley. You can put it a little close. So Carla, you can tell Miranda if she's not watching that one of our followers, Miss Barbara Cassidy. Embroidered little Cassie, uh, it's a uh, little mini mouse, and got her name embroidered on a little T-shirt. Isn't that sweet? That is so that sweet. Is so thoughtful. It was so thoughtful. And then, uh, and then she did her a little blanket. 
Isn't this pretty? It's Scott. a little hoodie. It's I mean, like a it's little towel. towel. It's a yeah. towel. It's so a when, towel. So when she gives her a bath, she can yeah. wrap her up in that. I knew this wasn't a blanket. <laughs> I said, it's a little towel cute? because she put her little head in this, and she's got her name on it, too. That is isn't so that, sweet. Isn't that sweet? The little hoodie towel. You know, one Christmas, remember at Poe's, when they had that, it's been several years ago. Yes, I know they what had, you're talking they about. They had a sale, a Black Friday sale, on little hoodies, hoodie towels. Mm -hmm. We got every one of their grandkids, great-grandkids, every child we could think of because that was such a good price. We had our basket full of little we hoodie sure towels. We sure did. They were so cute. Yeah. Thank the you, kids, Barbara. The kids used them, too, to oh, yeah, to the absolutely, board. absolutely. Thank you, Miss Barbara. Um uh, for thinking of little Kenley. And then this is what she said. Uh, you can show what you said. And she sent us, us, right, one right. of each. This uh, nice little spoon rest. rest. It says, taste the, uh, the good life. And I had mine, put mine on my stove, and I'll put it back over there. And this is a little uh, refrigerator magnet. Isn't a little, cute? little mini grater. It's so cute. <laughs> Isn't that cute? A little grater. That is and really she sent cute. us each a little bird. Yes. Uh, you got. Um, I got the little red bird because I love red birds. And, and, and mine's a little hummingbird, which is so isn't that cute. cute. I love birds. And then she sent us a little tiny pair of mini tongs. I love little I tiny know. stuff. It's so cute. It makes me. That looks just like some I've got this bigger. I know. And then she sent us both a, a, a really nice thing yeah. of um, healing lotion, That's which good. we we. Mm -hmm because our hands, hands are cracks. constantly in dishwater and they crack really bad this yes, time of year yes, so this will be this will come in real handy and a couple of uh, mechanical pencils which anybody that knows me knows that i love pencils yeah. always have yeah and uh, so we love those and then a, a crocheted pot, pot holder, holder. you know Pink. thank you so much there's so much work and love that goes into things like this it's a beautiful it's pattern beautiful. isn't it it is and then uh, a really pretty dish towel or cup towel as we call them yeah. uh, season everything with love and she has my name on mine and mary's name, and on, my hers, name on mine and wrote us a sweet sweet note yeah that's so and, sweet um y'all may not know it but we just this touches us it so does. much to know how much time it takes to put a package together and and, cost and to do moment. this um individual things for us we just appreciate it so much we thank you very much we have much. so many followers and I, every time i get a package or someone sends us a sweet text or our our conversation with us and tell us about about how what a blessing we are to you and and knowing that y'all are a blessing to us it just makes me want to send you something so bad because y'all are so generous to send us something but um it's just not possible for us to send every everyone something. But just know, each one of you individually, how much we do love and appreciate you. And um, it's just it's just not words adequate enough to tell you how much we do appreciate it. And we en we just enjoy it so much. I mean, this feels our life. Can you imagine being in our senior years, Linda, and being able to to have this kind of love and support from so many people all over the world. It's just, um, it just fills my heart. It's overwhelming. It is. It, it humbles you. Yes. And it, it makes you even Insane. more thankful, which we're always taught to be thankful. But um, I think about so much. I think about Mama and what, you know, meager things that she had to work with when she was coming up. And um, never one time... Uh, thought that she needed something better you know that's not who she no. was she was probably the most practical person I've ever known in my life mm -hmm. she would buy stuffed animals from Goodwill and wash them and give them to the kids yeah because it yeah. just made her so happy to do right. that right. but um, we appreciate y'all so very much and um, I'm gonna show them Mary okay. we've got cake pans ready because we're gonna be cooking some more cakes yes. after we get off air and I've already got I used the that daddy o pans these are professional cake pans they're uh these are three inches aren't they yeah these yeah, are three yeah. inches deep this makes a really big cake i use um parchment in the bottom and i use the parchment rounds and if you don't buy the parchment rounds you can cut it but this keeps your cake from crumbing Crum yeah. on the side and it just y'all see there's no flour it's just just shortening and uh so we're going to be 
knocking out some cakes. We're going to be making some cakes for the fall fest. We're going to be knocking out some cakes here in a little bit. I've yeah. already got five pans ready. <laughs> and, uh... We're going to, uh, I appreciate my sister helping me out on this. I was going to go home, and this is what I was going to do. She said, well, just let me help you make some of them. So she's helping me make uh, some of them, and then then I'll do a few at home. I've made three cakes yesterday. So um, because, you know, we film three days a week, and this is such a busy week for Mary, I, I was like, you know, you're coming over here anyway. Why don't we just make a couple of cakes while you're here? Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. And, um. Uh, do we, well, we don't have little Linda with us today. Little Linda so. has a sinus <laughs> infection, a bad sinus infection. And so, we miss her. Yes. And Carla's on the other end. Do we, um, do we want to see if we have any questions? Um, let me uh, see if I can see any questions. I, I won't be able to see them if they've already passed. Um, I know I've stuck these. Uh, and we, right and we are at Linda's house. And yes, the stoves can tell you which house we're in. <laughs> Black at mine and white at Linda's. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I don't see and any question. And a lot question of clutter at Linda's. <laughs> oh, the, uh, my house is full of clutter. But uh, you cannot, if there's one thing that any cook knows about cooking or baking especially, you can't have a, um, you can have a clean kitchen, but you can't have it tidy because there's too many things you got to have out while you're cooking. And Betty Nichols, no, we don't bake and sell cakes now. The only what we're doing with this for the fall bazaar, we're going to sell those cakes, but they will be at our fall bazaar in in Kilgore, Texas, on Friday from ten thirty this week. Friday, this, right. this Friday, the nineteenth, um, and uh, if you live in the surrounding areas of Longview. Uh, I will tell you this. I can't see any more questions. That's okay. I will down. tell you this that um, the doors open at ten thirty, but we have a parking lot full of people waiting to get in the door at ten thirty, and so if you and we only allow so many in at a time because our little fellowship hall is not that big, and I've got the I've got to go set up the tables. There's more to it than just baking for me for my job. I've got to go set up the room so the people can can maneuver without being uh, bumping in right, to so many people. So so we only allow so many people in at a time. So that's just the way it is, and because of COVID, so. Um, uh, if you want to, get, we'll have plenty um, vegetable beef soup, homemade, and homemade chicken and dumplings. That's to go orders only, take out. We used to serve in our fellowship hall, but we can't do that anymore because of COVID. So we, they're all to go orders. And we should have plenty. We have, uh, you would think that it's so a huge amount of both. But we'll, we should have plenty. We usually do have uh, a little bit left over so each worker can take a, a container home with them. Not every time, but, but the sometimes. And stuff sell the out. cakes and pies, they sell out. And the, we have yeast rolls and we have sourdough rolls. And they're frozen, but the way they are is that we cook them, we cook them done, but just not brown. And then when you take them home, that gives you, I think, about 10 minutes in the oven, and they're ready and hot. You know hot. what? That reminds me. What? I need to give you money to get some for Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, okay. Next okay. week. Okay. Okay. So we'll figure out the how The rows to are come in a package of nine. They don't come in a package of a dozen because the Ziploc bags, nine, oh, is all nine. in a hole. And it's in a package of nine, the rows are, for $6. And, um... And then the cakes are all different prices. It depends on what you know what cake it is and and how much is in that cake is according to what we sell them for. And then we have cupcakes and brownies, um, banana nut bread, apple bread. We just I'm gonna I am going to do a short clip on and show you the what we have. And of course, if you're watching that, you're gonna you're not gonna have time to get there. <laughs> They sell out so fast. I usually just cook three coconut cakes. And last year, a woman was really upset because she did not get one of my coconut cakes. But, you know, we just we just do so many. There's one lady that does a, a toasted coconut cake. Hers oh. is different from mine. Do you know who used to make that? Who? Uh, Nora Wallace. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, she did. Uh, a lifelong friend of ours in Nacogdoches. Mm -hmm. Do you remember she sang at Daddy's funeral? 
She did. No, I don't remember. She sang at Daddy's I funeral. Don't she made and and I was looking through Mama's old book the other day, yeah. and her recipe was in there, and it had Nora right? Wallace on it. Is yes. that right? Toasted coconut cake. Now, where's that recipe at? I think it's in that brown book that Mama. Uh, it's a photo album that she put recipes in there for oh, us all. Oh, okay. Back probably okay. in the seventies. Okay. Okay. And it's uh, her recipe is in there. Okay. Anyway, um, sorry, I didn't. That's that. okay. Sister Boatman makes a delicious out of this world Italian cream cakes. We will have chocolate cakes. I am going to do a chocolate cake that I've never made before, hoping that it turns out. It's called a three chocolate cake. Okay. And that's two different kinds of chocolate layers. Eat two layers. They're different chocolates, and then white chocolate frosted. Whoa! Yeah, that sounds real yeah. good. So I'm gonna try it, but I'm just gonna make one of those. Uh, and then I've got a sponge lemon cake. Made that now, yesterday. How much have you added to your list since we talked last? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I know my sister. When she does the same thing Christmas, we start out with the menu about October, and it's going to be just a basic menu, and before you know it, it's about three times what we started with. I, I'll tell you, this is all the time I'll have. I'll, I'm going to do that chocolate cake and okay. one more coconut cake, and then and these, this will be two. So that'll be three coconut cakes and the chocolate cake. And then I've already got those sponge cakes. They don't look good. They're just slow pans. I may not even take them. They're delicious. I cut one of them. So well, I would take them. Uh, it's a sponge, lemon sponge cake. And they don't look that pretty, but they are good. They are good. It's lemon. Uh, well, real lemon. I mean, really lemony. So. I used to, when I was baking, uh, because I would always double the recipe for a cake because yeah. of these big mm -hmm. cake pans. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times I would have a single layer left over. Mm -hmm. And yes. I would split the layer and put filling in between it. Have you thought about doing just a single layer? I have, and of, I might do that with the, if of, I have an extra layer. Instead of making another coconut cake at home, if we have five of these big layers here. I might. I might do that. Okay. I might do that. Um Something. Uh, oh, yes, we have pecan pies. Sister Boatman makes really good pecan pies. We usually have apple pies. We have, have you ever eat a praline pecan pie? I've seen it. It looks delicious. We, I've never made one. We have uh, one of our, well, she's no teenager. She's no teenager anymore. It just hit me, if I'm not mistaken. One of the young Emma, ladies. Emma, I think she turned, you know, I don't know how old she is. She's in college. But I think she is. I think she either just turned 20. Anyway, she cooks. Her mama's a great cook. And she makes those praline pecan pies. That sounds and really good. We sell out of them. And bless her heart, there was one lady that always buys. And she got there too late. And Emma went in that kitchen after everything. Everybody had already gone and made that lady a pecan praline. Oh, that was She's so sweet. precious. She's precious. We don't promise we do that. <laughs> But Emma did because it was, I think it was one of the school teachers from the, okay. from the uh, college. She probably knew yeah, her, didn't she? she knew, yeah. So. Well, we got our other cake in the oven, and it still likes about 40 minutes cooking. And um, we'll do the same thing with the syrup to go over it uh, when we get it out of the oven. So y'all don't be intimidated by this cake. Um, the picture that the members are going to see on the page it's, I made it in that long loaf pan that those sweet ladies yes. from Mississippi sent Mary and I one each of. It's the same cake, though. And, uh, but it's the same cake. It's just right. going to look different because it's not in a butt pan. Right. And I used a cake and a half, uh, one and a half recipes to Did make you, that because it long, was a very it was, long Yeah, cake. it is a long pan. Um, but this butt pan, it's one cake. And you think it's too much in there, right? Yeah, you think um, so, but... It doesn't. A uh, pound cake doesn't rise as much as a regular cake does. Right. But this was made with self-rising self flour. flour. Right. And I've never made a pound cake using self-rising self flour. flour before Let me I see if there's any one. questions. I don't think. I, I, I can't really look at the questions. Um, okay. I, I guess that's it. She said a lot of ladies wanted to see us make these cakes. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna give y'all a little secret. We're gonna we're gonna change. We're gonna put on some baking clothes when we get because we're gonna be we're gonna be slinging stuff in this kitchen to get these cakes in the oven. But um, uh, I don't know, Mary. That's up to you uh, whether or not you. We're gonna we're gonna eat a little by the lunch in a, in a few minutes. Once this cake gets done, we don't want to have these cakes sitting 
because cakes will go flat. Yes, they will. You have they to have, to have them go ready the to oven. go in the oven. So we can't mix these up. I've got the dry ingredients already in the bowl. Um, and you can't, but you can't leave these sitting out five or ten minutes because no, the can't. cakes will fall. And we yes. don't want that to happen. Right. So, um, but I we will, could show them once they yeah. get done. Okay. I will say that if anybody are interested in buying those to-go uh, lunches that's that's in the surrounding area. Now, Kilgore, all the town of Kilgore knows they know. about it. Yeah. They know about it. We advertise. But it's uh, $8 for a bowl of uh, soup, vegetable beef soup or dumplings and a bottle of water and a dessert, which is a homemade cookie or homemade pound cake. That's what we serve for $8. And you get cornbread or crackers with the soup or the or the dumplings, your choice. Um, and uh, we used to do tea and, and salad and all that. And because of COVID, we just were not putting the salad it's and, well the, worth, it's and the well tea worth with the it. Money. Yeah. And those just dumplings give them are so yeah. good. Yeah. All right, I didn't, I didn't mean to take up so much time talking about our fall fest, but it's a big, it's a, it's a one, one year fundraiser, for one day. Church. But it yeah. takes many days of preparation. Many days to to put it together. We used to do it two days. Can you believe that? We used to work two days. But do you know the first time we changed it to one day, we made just as much money during that one day because everybody came to came because to they knew it was just one day. So we thank y'all so much for watching us. Um, we hope that you will um, um, take a look at this cake and for the members, um, if you want to, the recipe, if you want the recipe, you can join our membership, uh, Pinky Miles Kitchen, www.pinkymilskitchen.com. You can go on and shop, or if you're interested in becoming a member, that's where our recipes and pictures are posted. Mm -hmm. It's five ninety nine a month plus tax, and that's applicable to your area. And uh, we try to we try to make it worth your while. Uh, what's on there? So we have pictures of the product that's already been cooked. Right. And if you click on the picture or the name of the recipe, it will show. And you, you get the recipe. recipes. Uh, uh, ahead of when we're videoing them so you, if you want to make it a, the same day we're making it well it'd be fresh on your mind right. you can always go back to the video and watch it how we did it once you get the recipe right you can and uh for any questions about we leave those recipes on there at least two months possibly longer right. and we try to give you at least 12 recipes a month um and we were going members. to and we were going to remind y'all that uh we've had a lot of people say that you're not getting notified when we come on oh yes for our videos right here. and we found out that you need to like or or comment or both uh during one of our lives for you to be notified the next time i don't know someone told us that i'm i'm and, assuming and we've that's heard true. it from several yeah. different sources yeah. so um, make sure that you're your, doing that and, and also your notifications are on right. right and share us with your friends and make sure you're watching on this page where it's a public page um, you don't have to join so make sure you're watching on the right page if you have any question about it go to www.pinkymileskitchen.com click on the Facebook icon it will take you straight, straight to our to page our video. yeah um, so um, we thank all of y'all for watching all of y'all for supporting us and loving us and being so kind and um, and if you want if, uh, another thing some people are watching our old videos and all of our videos up to uh, October, October 1st you can go back and once you get on our page, there's a little long bar that's got a lot of different wordings about posts, views, and there's some, the word videos on there. If you click on videos, it will take you to all of our videos that we've done in the past and click on it. Some of it says untitled, but if you click on that video, the title comes up. Yeah, it does. So uh, you can go back and check and, and if you want some. And the recipes are on some of them. Yeah, they're on, recipes on a lot on of some, our old yeah. ones. And, and Mary, it's just human nature to ask people because, uh, you know... <laughs> I've done it myself. I'm not going to try to put anybody yeah. else down. But, uh, and it's not that we don't want to help y'all, but it's just because we're so busy. So do a little bit of research and legwork yourself and you'll be able to see them. Yeah. I, I try to answer some of them when they, when they text me, where is it at? But that's what you, that's how you find them. Just go down and click. And, uh, um, when you're watching the video, because uh, some lady said that she just got through watching it and she wanted to go back to it and she didn't know how to get back to it. Well, if you'll notice the month, 
if you notice what month that video was was on then when you go back to our all of our videos it'll say six months seven months ten months ago uh and th that will help you find it easier if you know back how far back you went to, to watch it and a lot of people ask us i mean we get call and message and text and private message um i mean just numerous every day there are a lot of the um things that they're asking for we did last year yes, yes. Uh, somebody asked about yes, the cranberry sauce we did that last year there is a there is a video on it um you have dressing that you i did have the last rock year. and rice casserole we did last um, year we did the corn casserole uh, we what did, else have they asked for, for um, your cream pies and that coconut the coconut cake uh, with the pineapple filling in the middle, we did that one last year. So there, so, a lot of them are already on there. If you'll look under videos, like Mary told you, you're going to see a lot of those. Yeah. And y'all keep in mind that we do, uh, our dressing is a little bit different. Both of it is delicious. Yeah. It's just, we just make our dressing right. a little bit different. But there's two different versions. It's there's two different Mary's ver version and right. there's my version. Right. So um, uh, if y'all want to just... Go back and look. And also with Mama's Story, we've had lately a lot of people ask us mm -hmm. where are the rest of her, uh, the videos on her story. And they're, they're under the videos. They're under videos. But they're also on YouTube. And they're e actually on YouTube. They're easier to find because they're right together. We don't have as many videos on YouTube, which that's going to change shortly. But uh, all of Mama's Story is on YouTube right together. So you can just yeah. click on part one, part two. It goes to two, part nine. And also the unbaked fruit cake. Somebody asked about that. And this that's morning. on video. That's on video from last and year. And I think that was like ten months ago, something like that. So it would have been last fall. Yeah. When when we right. did when Mary did before that before Christmas. And uh, we're trying to do things um, dip, a little different recipes this year than the, so we're not doing the same ones. That yeah, we did last we're trying year. not to repeat. You know, there's so many different versions of ways to do things. Uh, we were told, I read it somewhere, that you can't video the same recipe twice, but you can do different versions. So we may, I know we did the donuts. We did the uh, yeast, ro uh, the cinnamon, cinnamon rolls. rolls. We did, we've got two on those because it was a little bit different version. So we may go back and do one or two of those old ones, but a different version of right. it or something. So. So we hope that y'all are enjoying this beautiful fall day as much as we are and um, make sure that you always count your blessings and be kind to someone today. We love y'all when we get these cakes. Now we're not icing them. We're not uh, icing them today. We're not frosting them today because it, it steps. We're putting seven minute icing on these and I won't put this frosting on these cakes until Thursday because, um, because I don't want it to sit. The right. cakes we can put in the refrigerator or the freezer, but we the, you, I don't want to do that. I can put that seven minute icing. Out. But did you know somebody told me you could freeze that with that frosting? That seven I've minute I've heard icing? that too. Mom made don't hers want to. and kept them. Yeah, for several days. Yeah. It, you can freeze it after the seven minute frosting, but I just don't want to. We're selling these fresh, and that's why I want them to be. Uh, and I, I want to tell y'all what we're doing in December, but I won't because. Uh, That'll, that'll come soon enough, but <laughs> I'm doing one of Mama's cakes that she made every year in December, mm -hmm. and it's a beautiful cake, Yes, and I can't For wait Christmas. to make it. Yeah. So, um, thank you again. Love, Love y'all. Thank you. Count your blessings. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.